There are three types of commonly used Hall effect sensors. Are you familiar with them? Let's examine the following three models as examples. The first model, 44E, is a standalone Hall switch. The second model, 41F, is a bipolar Hall switch with a latching function. The third model, 49E, is a linear Hall switch designed for telecommunications. So what are the differences in the applications of these three Hall switches? What characteristics do they possess? Next. Let's conduct an experiment and build a small circuit. You can observe the state of the hall switch through the indicator light. This is a single set hall switch. When the magnet approaches, the hall switch activates, the indicator light illuminates, and when the magnet is moved away, the hall switch deactivates, causing the indicator light to extinguish. The indicator light will turn on again upon the magnet's approach and will turn off once the magnet is removed. Now, let's consider the hall switch with the bipolar latching function. When any magnet approaches the hall switch, the indicator light remains unlit. You only need to reverse the magnet's polarity to toggle it on and off. Once activated, it will not deactivate upon the magnet's removal. This is the latching function. To deactivate it, reverse the magnet's polarity and bring it close again. If the magnet's polarity is alternated near the hall switch, it will continuously toggle on and off. Finally, let's examine the linear hall switch. As the magnet gradually approaches the hall switch, the indicator light slowly brightens, and as the magnet is withdrawn, the indicator light dims progressively. This demonstrates the operational state of the linear hall switch. Have you grasped the concept? Like and follow for more informative videos.